see you out there, man. Hello and welcome, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on this Tuesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. We've got the Brooklyn Nets facing the Golden State Warriors. And, of course, Andre Iguodala, he is still out of the lineup. Yeah, Kevin, that's just terrible news. Never what you want to hear or see. With an injury of that severity, it's hard to imagine we're going to see him back out there anytime soon. And, and you know what? You just got to push on. I mean, really, next man up. And, and I think they understand the situation. There's no time frame. And, and so they just have to adjust the rotation and try to carry on as well they can. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. So for Brooklyn now, Evans in at the four spot. Jared Jack is out there with Thornton. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Johnson in at the three spot. Here's Evans. Following the basket by Draymond Green. No good from Jack. Curry dishes to Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Thompson's got his first points of the game. Johnson the pass to Evans. Johnson the screen. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. Nets ball. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Evans a screen on Thompson. And Jack kicks to Evans. Five to shoot. Thornton dishes to Evans. Great tee that time from Green. It's Curry with the drive. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Yes, strong move to the basket there. Nice power to get that up and in. For Brooklyn, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Here's Jack. The shot will not go. So Golden State will take it the other way. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. And you don't have to go too deep into the box score to figure out why they lost that one. They just had an inability on that day to make shots. You know, sometimes we talk about a defense getting into the heads of the opposing players, Greg. But that night, they got up in their own head. Just got in their own way and couldn't get out of it. Warriors have gone three or four from the field to start out the game. Curry. And the rejection by Evans. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Evans. Here's Curry. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Yeah, and he also did a great job on the backboard, Kev. And, and that also was a factor. Seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot. And it's really paid off of them during the run. And it's the Warriors on the break. All going up court. Green passes to Curry. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jumper. The Brooklyn Nets come into this one after a win against Utah. And even in hostile territory as they were that day, they had no jitters at all. I mean, the confidence kept growing as the shots kept falling. And they were falling big time. I mean, from the top to the bottom of that roster, everybody was locked, loaded, and spraying jumpers. Here's Curry following the bucket by the Nets. Here's Barnes. And the rebound goes to Lopez. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Johnson in the corner. The tie for the ball. No good from outside. Warriors leading by five. Thompson in the corner. Fires from the wing. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. Johnson attacking. There's the feed to Jack. And he gets it to go. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. The Nets shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. Yeah, guys, they can feel very good about themselves when you bring up those statistics. Impressive numbers. The shot by Curry, no good. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Here's Evans. 
Green with the block. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. Nets ball. Puts it up off the inbound, Joe and there's Joe Johnson on the assist, assist by Evans. Free. Johnson's got his first bucket of the night. To the inside, here's Green, and so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there, Greg. And both free throws good for Green. Nets trail by four. Al Thornton, he had a 12-point outing in their last game against Utah. And Jack kicks to Evans. And stolen by Spates. The Warriors have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Brooklyn's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, Kevin, a moment ago, Steve Kerr and I were able to chat. He had a lot of praise to extend Joe Johnson's way, and with each compliment, it presented a concern for his defense. He knows Joe is one of the most explosive scorers in the league and can hurt you in a lot of different ways on the floor. We'll see if he can hurt them in this one, guys. Thanks again, Doris. They get it back. Thompson misses that one. His first miss of the night, two for three. And Jack kicks to Evans. Good, and Jack gets the assist. Evans has got his second basket of the night. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, and I think we're going to see them operating a lot of their offense from the interior today. And that one's good, Barnes. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of them. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Now, here's Lopez. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Utah. Back to Evans. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Snatched up. And Spates gets it to go. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. at the stats for Jack. He's been dominant over the last month. Points, 10 assists, and two rebounds. All around brilliant for him lately. And guys, he's really taken his play to another level. He sure has. I mean, game by game, you can just see the confidence growing. He's put up large numbers to prove it. Azili's checked in for the Warriors. Now here's Evans coming off a stellar performance against Utah. Curry brings the double. And so here is Golden State. Warriors leading by three. And it's Golden State with another. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Here's Jack. He definitely had a good game in their win against the Jazz. Lopez, a screen on green. Evan. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And a sturdy screen set for him that time, and he doesn't fool around, just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one, that's that's for sure. No chance, Kevin. I mean, the screen was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through him, and that's not legal. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. There's the pick. Jack dishes to Evans. Back to Jack. 
from downtown. Just five to shoot. No good on the triple. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Curry passes it to Azili, and he gets it to go. And now an eight-point Warrior lead. Excellent feed from Steph Curry. Now here is Jack. He's got five. Curry with it. Pass to Azili. Back to Curry. Goes up on the block. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Curry's got six. Already seizing control of this game. Total control, Greg. And as well as they're playing at both ends, I look for this lead to get even larger. Now here's Evans. He's got eight. And a wide open look for Thornton. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. Jack's got four assists in the game. Outside Curry. He kicks it to Green. From 13, Evans with the rebound. Nets trail by seven. Here's Johnson. Finish off the break. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. see Kevin where the Warriors rank in the NBA right now first and third and three-point shooting and they're the third ranked team in free throw percent a number of players on that team are very comfortable and capable at the foul line and looking at their ranking in points off turnovers numero uno and that's how you demoralize an opponent make them pay for every mistake Al Thornton after the missed three from Stephen Curry Evans attacking that's good and now, just a three-point Warrior lead. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Right side, Curry. The 11-footer. Again, Curry missing. Nets trail by three. Evans kicks to Thornton. Feeds it to Bargnani. Young outside. Galloway gets a screen from Evans. Outside for Thornton. Puts up a three. That's good. And so Galloway with the assist. Thornton's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Brooklyn. Golden State's gone three of six, 50% from deep so far tonight. There's the pass to Azili. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Nets. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. Here's Evans outside for Thornton from deep. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. This looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. I don't know. There might be more defense in the warm-ups. Right now, these are just shooting game shots. Azili gets the bucket. Azili's got his second bucket tonight. Oh, I love that dish down low. Evans, a screen on Kirk. Galloway, the pass to Evans. Out to the wing. Picked by Barnett. Six on the shot clock. Goes back up. Here's Evans. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Evans has got 12 in the game. Outside Curry. Looney. And that one is hammer home. Well, if you like offense, that's what you're getting here early on. This has a little bit of playground feel to it, fellas. I mean, forget about defending. Just outscore the other team. Let it fly. Now here's Evans. Gordon has the open look. The basket good off the assist from Evans. Free. Evans has got his third assist on the night. The Warriors trailing. Outside curve. And the layup's good off the glass. 
He has seven. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. And the basket by Thornton. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. And, and you need the defense to stop the bleeding. To the left side wing. Looney with the bucket. Looney's got his second bucket. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. It's stolen by Stauskas. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. It's the Nets up one. And the second quarter will get up. And Steph Curry, a player with in the gym range, he told us about his comfort stretching the floor. And we're five, six feet. I was going to say, Greg, how big must that the teams deciding to change it up? Here's Johnson. A 14-point game for him in the win against Utah. You know, and in watching that game, he did a really nice job of passing the basketball, scoring and setting up his teammates. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Evans, he's in at power forward. Hollis Jefferson is out there with Jarrett Jack. Then there's Johnson, and it's Lopez in at the center, locking down the middle. And what a gutty play. I mean, muscles his way to the rebound and then just pounds it home for the putback. Well said, G.A. The battle on the boards, Clark, could go a long way toward deciding this game. You know, and if that play is any indication, that's a battle they're willing to put every ounce of their energy into winning. And now let's bring up the numbers and show you the point guards with the highest assist rate over the past month. Jared Jack, number one, and of course, Stephen Curry. And these are the best passers in the NBA. No question about it. Every one of them is willing and able to be the floor general out there and make sure the offense is running at full speed. And that's the thing to me. I mean, as exceptional as their assist numbers are, it's their leadership and that ability to direct their offense. That's what makes them stand out. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Jazz got down to business. He finished with 39 points, and that was just the start of it. Notching a triple-double for his effort in what was quite a display from him. Absolutely amazing numbers from him in what was truly a memorable performance for him and for us, Kevin. All right, Doris, thanks so much for the report. You had to just marvel, guys, at what he was able to do that night, didn't you? You know, it, it was the game of basketball being played at its highest level. No, no question who their MVP was in that one. No question whatsoever, Greg. I mean, that's a performance he and his fans will remember for a long, long time. Golden State's gone 1-3 from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Curry kicks to Green. And the rejection by Evans. Johnson dishes to Jack. Back to Johnson. 14 feet away. Another miss by Johnson. That's one he knows he should have drained. Barnes passes to Kerr. Johnson against Thompson. Thompson is double. Goes up on the wing. Barnes can't get it to go. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Johnson with a screen on Kerr. And it's Johnson. That time on the assist by Evans. Evans has got his fifth assist in this one. Curry against Jack. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And that's It's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. Vazili's checked in for the Warriors. 
Looney comes in for Tremont Green. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. Here's Evans, so he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. What a game we've seen here for Evans. Eight rebounds, and he's tacked on a couple of blocks today, too. And, and they've been important to the team. Even if it's only a couple, it's helped them establish a defensive presence inside. Bargnani has checked in for Brooke Lopez. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case, Greg. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Nets leading by four. Bargnani sets the screen for Evans. It's stolen by Curry. Up the floor. Looney with the bucket. Looney's got six. That is such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And it's one thing to get the steal, but to so alertly turn it into a transition opportunity, even better. And Jack, here we go. Pass to Evans. Outside for Thornton. Takes a three. A rebound by Azili. Golden State's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. That ties it up. Barnes has got his second basket of the night. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Evans outside. Goes up off the pit. For Brooklyn, they have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. And that one falls for Evans. And both free throws, good for Evans. Golden State's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Passes it to Looney. Some nice passing by Golden State. Curry can't get it to go. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jumpers. Really good point, Greg. I mean, you want to keep that balance. And attacking inside creates space for shooters. And having shooters creates opportunities inside. So it works hand in glove. So he hits one of two from the strike. Warriors trail by three. Thompson outside. Curry against Jack. Pass to Looney. And here is Barnes. He's coming off a 16-point game against Dallas. And also, he competed on the backboards. That also had a lot to do with the game. Johnson, wide open. He fires. That one rolling around and rims out. And for the Warriors, they're shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Boy, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Four straight passes leading to scores. Great team play. It's been a solid outing for Thompson. Ten points, and there's a nice number in his assist column as well. He, it really has been, Clark. He's created a lot of open looks for his teammates. Very unselfish play from him today. 103 left here in the second. Outside Curry. Got that one, and the next lead has been cut to just one in the basket for Mazzilli. Mazzilli's got four points now in the quarter. Brooklyn's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. And Jack kicks to Evans. And the rejection by Mazzilli. Curry dishes to Barnes. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. And pulled out all the stops to fight his way inside, but the D just was not giving in. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Shot by Jack, wide open. The basket good off the assist from Evans. Jack's got the lead up to four now for Brooklyn. Now Thompson. 26 points for him last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Yeah, but Kevin, a lot of those points came at the line. I mean, he was aggressive to attack 
the D, not settling, and really did a good job of cashing in on those free throws. Here's Evans, and he knocks down the jumper. Evans has got 20. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Well, what a great job you did, both moving the ball and passing it and scoring it. What has been the key for you to this point? We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. He's just been terrific. This is what they needed from him. And a double-double in just one half of basketball? You can't ask for anything more as a coach, teammate, or fan. He has the Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson at the guard spots. Barnes and Green are the forward set. And it's Spates in at the center position. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Evans passes to Jack from deep Horton. Warriors with the rebound. Barnes has got three rebounds now in this one. Thompson in the corner for the tie. The second effort. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The Warriors have converted four of seven free throws on the night. At the line for two. And that one falls for Spates. That one drops. He ties it up. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. And Jack kicks to Evans. Inside. He's looking for Lopez and finds him. And guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G.A. You're right. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the basket that time. But it's only two points. I mean, it was flashy, no doubt. But still, it only counts for two. Two is all. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Five of their last six makes were on the interior. They've established their inside presence. Lopez sets a screen for Evans on the wing court. Jack against Curry. Shot clock at five. And it's Evans missing. Well, I think he shouldn't have forced that one. Instead, he should have passed it off. And Thompson kicks to Green. There's the dish to Spates for the lead. That's short off the rim. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Evans passes to Johnson. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. And it's 13 points for Joe Johnson. Good ball move. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. And Curry, here we go. That shot is in, just like six others have been for him. He's shooting seven for 15. And finally, they fought themselves back to even the score. We've got a new ball game here now. And really, all the momentum is theirs, making such a strong comeback. So I think you've got to really feel good about their chances the rest of the way. Warriors have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, let's have a look at some league leaders from the last 10 games. Here are the highest scoring point guards in the NBA during that time. Second, Stephen Curry. And this is a group of guys who have that uncanny knack to simply score and, and put points up while they find ways to get the rest of the team involved. Really, the complete package. And to me, that's what makes them so special. I mean, they don't have one way to punish you offensively. They've got several. You want your point guard to be the most versatile player on the squad, and these guys are. And the Warriors making a change here. Stauskas is checked in. Then for the Nets, Young comes in for Johnson. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Jarrett Jackson. And, and, and guys, that's one of the more basic plays in anybody's playbook, but not to mention also truly one of the best. And Greg, the pick, frees him up, and Clark, mm -hmm. the dunk, caps it off. 
Well, you know, for me, guys, it's all about positioning and anticipation on those screen plays, and they got it right there. Here's Galloway. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And Barnes comes to help. Young in the corner. Galloway kicks to Evans. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Galloway with the bucket. And now a six-point Nets lead. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Green with a screen for Barnes. Spates sets a screen. Evans with the steal. They're running, and here they go. And Young slams it home. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. They better not. I mean, they've got to pad their lead anytime an opportunity presents itself, and that was a golden. Here's Stauskas. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Green, the screen. Curry outside. That's good. Curry's got seven now in this quarter. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Here's Galloway, guarded by Curry. This is to Thornton. Shot clock at five. Here's Lopez. Draymond Green pulls it in. Well, he won't miss many of those, especially with the defender not in the best of positions there. And he gets it to go. Now it's just a three-point Brooklyn lead. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. And the basket good. Stauskas has got six points. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. Checked in for Lopez. Golden State's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Kicks to Barnes. Back to Thompson. Now the pass to Looney. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Nets. Bargnani's got five rebounds tonight. Left side, Jack. Looking to end the run. That's good, and so Galloway with the assist. Galloway has got three assists now in this one. Golden State's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Over in the corner, Barnes lets it go with a three. It's rebounded by Bargnani. Bargnani's got his sixth rebound on the night. Jack dishes to Evans. Jack passes to Evans. For the lead. And Thompson sends it back. But they'll get another chance. Johnson can't hit. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. The drive by Thompson. Makes a big high pace and goes in. Thompson's got 12 in the game. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Warriors. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And, and also, how about the points they've got in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. For three, Stauskas, the rebound by the Nets. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's Evans. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. And that 82% free throw percentage this season must have him feeling pretty good about himself at the line. You know, he's been one of those players they've wanted on the line as much as possible this season, especially in close games, guys. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. 
Spates checked in for Barnes, and Curry subbed in for Stauskas. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for Langston Galloway. Johnson kicks to Jack. Down low, here's Evans, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It's going to be on Maurice Spates. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Hey, you want me to close my eyes on this one, too? And both free throws, good for Evans. An impressive game for him from the free throw line. Not his strong suit, but he's making them count tonight. His performance today has just been so important. What a luxury to have a guy that's that dependable. It's a tie game here in Oakland. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with... Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. Brooklyn's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Evans. He's in at the four spot. Jared Jack is out there with Thornton. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Johnson in at the three. The small forward. Nothing too fancy. Just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count completely agree with that Clark they need stops and, and really can't afford any wasted possessions those inside shots are nice high percentage looks the Nets making a switch here Young's checked in they double team Curry and Thompson kicks to Azili just five to shoot Green dishes to Azili Curry the long distance three is better Curry's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Burnett shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. They set the pick. And Jack, here we go. And that one's good. And really smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Showed nice basketball IQ. I agree, Greg. I mean, if he finds his spot on the perimeter and doesn't force it, I think his outside shot will be hard to block no matter who's defending it. Here's Thornton, and it's sent back by Spates. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Spates, and the Warriors making a change here. Barnes is checked in. Green against Evans. It's stolen by Curry. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Here's Barnes. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And 11 points for Barnes. And the deeper we get into this game, it seems like the more the offenses are in rhythm. Without question, I mean, both of these teams are firing a full broadband bandwidth. I mean, full throttle ahead. Reverse that one home. Now that was nice. Real nice. The agility on this sport. Yeah, you love that body control. How about the power and grace on that finish? It's Thompson off the drive. Thompson is double. Here's Green. Soft touch off the glass. Green's got 19 points. Loose D here. Critical stretch. I mean, you better off sending them to the free throw lines than to have them get that good a look. Evans, a screen on Thompson. Here's Jack. Again, the Nets for two. And you know what? He's shaken off the cold shooting performance from the first half. The Warriors have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Curry against Jack. Outside Curry. On the wing, Thompson. Spade sets a screen for Thompson. The wing jumper off target. The Nets have gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Six to shoot. And Jack kicks to Evans. Plays it up and banks it in. And now a four-point Brooklyn lead. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Curry passes to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. 
here. Spates can't hit. Good D by Lopez. Nets have gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Thornton off a pick from Evans. He kicks it to Lopez. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Looking at the game for Lopez, 10 points, and they've got to be happy with his work on the glass, too. They really do. He is not giving up any ground in the paint, and when the ball goes up, you know he's going to be there to fight for it. Both shots good from the strike. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Curry dishes to Thompson. He feeds it to Spates. Outside Curry. Tries it from 19. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Nets leading by six. Evans kicks to Lopez. Curry against Jack. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Really, it's about valuing the possession. It seems like he's trying to manufacture offense out there rather than just letting the play develop. The Warriors shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Young with the steal. He dishes it to Jack. Now the feed to Thornton. No good on the triple. Warriors trail by six. Here's Curry. Off the mark and the drop continues. Brooklyn's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're six of 13. Evans against Barnes. Evans kicks to Young. The basket good off the assist from Evans. Young's got the lead up to eight now for the Nets. That's really the area where they'd like all of their shots to come from. Outside, Green feeds it to Spates. Puts it up from 12. Good D by Lopez. For Brooklyn, they've gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for Brooklyn. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried oh, over yeah. here in oh, the yeah. second. Another thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint for plenty of those close-range points. you got to have those. Pass to Curry. And the rejection by Evans. They recover it. Tries to keep it alive. And another shot. And gets hit by the D. He'll go to the line. Gentlemen. What a performance. Just look at the game for Green. He's got 19 points, and those four three-pointers he's hit have helped him, too. No doubt, Clark. They'd be in a much different position this game if he wasn't knocking down those triples. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole, and far too often, that's the case for this team. And both free throws good for Green. Nets leading by seven. And Jack kicks to Evan. Lopez passes to Evans. Young left side. Thornton for three. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got three rebounds so far in the game. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. With the fadeaway. And it's Thompson again missing. You know, they've been outstanding on the boards, and it's a big reason why they've got a lead. Doing the dirty work down low. We call that a collabo because everybody's boxing out and making sure they secure the glass. Evans. That misses off the backboard. Warriors trail by seven. Here's Curry. And the rejection by Evans. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. The kick out to Chan. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. And the Nets lead by nine. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Jack against Curry. 
Passes to Thompson. Goes up on the wing. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. He's got to be a little embarrassed for joining the paratroopers club on that pump fake. Jack dishes to Evans. Nets passing it around. And Lopez throws it down. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. He's certainly not been at his best this quarter. Um, and that's an understatement. Evans with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Evans passes to Young. To the middle. And stolen by Spates. Now here's Thompson. Spates kicks to Curry. To the middle. Here's Thompson. Again, the miss by Thompson. And, and offensively, he has been a liability more than he's helped this quarter. Pass to Jack. Back to Evans. Young with no one around. The basket good off the assist from Evans. And now it's an 11-point Nets lead. Golden State's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Curry kicks to Green. And he's good on the three ball. Green's got 11 points here in just the second half. Add another triple to their second half total. They came out of the break just dropping bombs and just are not letting up at all. And it's Evans missing. You love the close out on that possession. Excellent defense. Active, and he made it a very tough shot for him. Just two makes on seven shots this quarter. And he just looked lost out there in the fourth. It's um, obvious he doesn't have any confidence right now. Jack against Thompson. Lopez kicks to Young. And it's off from three-point range. Warriors trail by six. Curry dishes to Thompson. Back to Curry. Kicks it to Barnes. Inside. And the slam dunk by Spates. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I think some urgency <laughs> from him there. Hey, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. Making the switch here. Johnson's checked in. Nets leading by four. To the inside. Fades away. And Evans gets it to go on the assist from Jack. That's 36 points for Freak. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr was going over with his team. He told us, guys, time's running low. If we're going to make our move, it's going to be now. Are you guys ready? And as they nodded, he said, let's go get it. Kevin? And the wide open shot from Green. From outside, off the mark. And they've controlled the glass throughout this game, but it's still close. Guys, it's their hard work inside that has them out in front, but they can't let off now. They've got to keep it going. It's Curry with the drive. Nice move. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. He hits the first one, and that brings them within five. And so Thompson nails both of them. And really, the tension could not be higher right now. And he looked like he was shooting free throws at practice. What a cool customer. And Thornton kicks to Johnson. Jack, the dish to Johnson. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down incredible incredible body control right there don't know how he was able to get that one to go but it sure was a thing of beauty to watch 
Curry passes to Barnes. That drops. How about these big shots for him in the fourth? He has been locked and loaded offensively. Nets leading by five. To the paint, here's Evans. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Golden State's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Curry against Jack. And it's Golden State with another. Key buckets, and we know he delivers down the stretch. Brooklyn's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Down low, Johnson gets the bucket. Johnson's got five points now this quarter. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Yes. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. He is pointed on in the second half, guys. I mean, a much better showing than he had before the break. Dishes to Evans. Good, and Jack gets the assist. Evans has got 40 points. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Green, the screen. Curry, wide open. Yes! And now they trail by just four. Man, this fourth quarter has been tremendous. They have been exceptional from deep. Yeah, a bunch of their points coming from long range here. A major barrage. And an intentional foul right there. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. Got to score quickly. Yeah, no time to waste here, partner. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And it's Green missing. And so they foul intentionally. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. He's able to hit the second one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. They can't guard us on the perimeter. Let's spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing. Spacing. To the right side. Rush from outside. Evans with the rebound. The pass to Winston. To the wing right side. Deep two from Rush. It falls. Brandon. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. Gets the first, that increases their lead to six. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Six seconds left to play in the final quarter. Spades dishes to Green. Here's Curry with the three. And so it's Brooklyn with the win. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Right, well said. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Once again, your ability to make plays with your passing was a major factor in this one. How did you get the offense clicking? Uh, the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hey, y'all. Ernie Johnson here along with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome back for the presentation. Freak. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He and folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game.
on some cheer. <laughs>
It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. With the Diesel and the Jet, this is Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Portland Trailblazers as they go up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Checking out Cleveland, they've gotten the job done in every way possible this season. They're sitting pretty with the best record in the league, east or west. Well, Freak was recently selected to be a part of All-Star Weekend. Very big honor for him, and I'm sure uh, there will be a lot expected of him. You guys have both been involved with All-Star Weekend. Uh, what's it like? What's going through their heads right now? Well, the most important thing you have to do is just enjoy the weekend. It's going to be a lot of superstars there. It's going to be Trailblazers play before the hometown crowd here in downtown Portland, Oregon. Cleveland is working their way through a road trip going into today's game. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, J.R. Smith and LeBron at the two and three. Freak is out there with Anderson Barajal, and it's Irving in at the one spot. And so it's the Cavaliers getting on the board first. And Bonley has it in the corner. No good on the three. And even three on three break. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Yes. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Smith hits them both. Lillard with it. Playing Sacramento. He was nearly unstoppable. Offline with his three. James dishes to Irving. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. Portland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Miller against Irving. And the rejection by Evans. Here we go, James heading to the hoop. Throws down the breakaway jam. A nice job again. That time to add to their lead. They're doing everything right at the moment. Greg, you're exactly right. Good, solid, steady, no frills basketball. Doing it in all aspects of the game right now, and that's a hard combination to beat. Not looking good for him so far. Four straight misses to start the game. Smith, no good. And Turner kicks to Lillard. Back to Turner. To stop the run. The shot is off. Good D by James. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Already seizing control of this game. Total control, Greg, and as well as they're playing at both ends, I look for this lead to get even larger. Now here's Lillard. He seems to always be finding ways to score, averaging around 23 and a half points a game. And that one's good. And now that the seal is broken, maybe their shooting will start to improve. Yeah, I don't think they really wanted to have as cold a start as they did, uh, but maybe that'll break the ice and they'll move forward in fine fashion from here. Here's James following the score by Damian Lillard. Outside Turner. And there's the feed to Lillard. To the middle. Here's Kamen. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. You can't give him that shot. A few open looks are all it takes to get him in his own. James kicks to Evans. Outside Irving. Lots of room. And he gets the bucket. Irving's got six. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. 
It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Now here's James. He's coming off a 19-point game against Utah. Yeah, and he also did a great job on the backboards, Kev, and, and that also was a factor. That's good. The defense just too soft on that possession. You have to be closer and contest at the rim. Lillard on top, covered by Irving, and the basket by Lillard. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. Now we'll go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to talk with head coach Terry Stotts. Of course, the conversation veered to the challenge of defending LeBron James, and he said... There's not a lot of good options with him. He can really do it all. I think you just have to try and stay in front of him, and if he gets in close, you have to bring help. And guys, we've seen LeBron really force the issue as far as getting into the lane. We'll see how they do. Thanks, Doris. Here is Lillard following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. Kamen. Ice D from Verja. Now running up the court, Evans trying to push it up. And certainly Freak has established himself as one of the up-and-coming stars. He'll be going up against others in the Rising Stars game. Yeah, exciting to see all the young talent on the same floor during All-Star Weekend. And Freak and others making sure the NBA keeps that pipeline of stars full. Having an efficient three-point attack, very tough to defend. Let's see some of the best. Second, the cap lead. You know, some teams live and die by the three. But it's important to be able to utilize the three-point shot. It's a great weapon in the game of basketball. And this coach has given this team freedom to look at the three-pointers on a regular basis. And they're pretty good at it. So it's Portland now. They trail by 11. Here's Kamen. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got three assists now in this one. So for Cleveland, their last game, a win against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. And you know what? Exactly what had to be done in terms of winning on the road. Never allowed any momentum to build up against them. Kept the crowd out of the game. And for every punch they took, they had a counter. I was very impressed, Greg, with, what, with the way they stood their ground. Even when they were on their heels some, coming through those moments where they were backing up a bit. Um, that's what it takes on the road. You've got to show that kind of fortitude and resilience. Here's Von Ley. J.R. Smith making his last shot. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Here's Evans. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. And he gets the bucket. The Cavaliers leading by 11. Outside Irving. And the foul on Chris Kamen. That is his first foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Plumley is checked in for Portland. Picked by Verizhao. Shot off the screen, and the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They have got to figure it out. Here's Lillard. Anderson Verizhao making his last shot. Six on the shot clock. They grab their own miss. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. And here are the numbers for Turner. How last month turned out for him. He's averaging 10 points a game, five assists, and five rebounds. And his playmaking really stands out, making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, keeps the ball moving, and of course, he finds the open man. Al Farouk Aminu, he's checked in for Evan Turner. Love's checked in for the Cavaliers. Vasquez comes in for J.R. Smith. A wide open look for Love. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. Lillard with it. He's picked up by Irving. Lillard attacking.
He feeds it to Henderson. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Here's Irving. A 17-point game for him in the win against Utah. And also defensively, he was really aggressive. I mean, matter of fact, he had four steals over the course of that game. And it's blocked. And they'll keep possession. Love the pass to Evans. To the middle. Here's Irving. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Five of their last six makes were on the interior. They've established their inside presence. A chance here, Kevin, to see where the Cavaliers currently rank in the NBA. Second in steals. And they're the number two field goal percentage team in the league. This is a team that has really grown in that area, taking good shots and knocking them down. And you talk about scoring. Tough to beat a team that can fill it up at all levels. Every time you get a bucket, they're coming right back at you with one of their own. Here's LeBron. Al Farouk Camino picking up that last basket. To the wing on the left. Vasquez kicks to Evans. To the paint. Love. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's on Damian Lillard. You know, I love how he absorbed the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. Boy, terrific play there. I thought even with all the contact, he still was going to get that shot to go down. Both free throws, good from Love. Trailblazers trail by 13. Lillard with it. He's picked up by Irving. Harkless kicks to Lillard. Over to the left wing. Harkless dishes to Lillard. Floats one. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. You know, it always is, and it has been so far, and they've gotten a nice edge on the glass. Now here's Joseph after LeBron James's miss. From 12 feet out, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And that's now six points for Damian Lillard. Now here's James, averaging around 27 and a half points a game, one of the best in the league. Kicks it to Evans. On the wing, Irving. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. Evans has got four assists now tonight. And the offense has come together immediately. I mean, they're threatening to run away with this thing already. Greg, it's hard to imagine they'll stay this hot for four quarters, but if they even approximate that, watch out. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throws of the evening. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for Irving. Good on both. Now LeBron. The pass to Vasquez. Here's the screen. Here's Evans. No good. Now Portland takes it the other way. The Cavaliers beat them last time when these two teams met in Cleveland. And they lost a close one last time they saw each other. And, and you have to think that it was the foul trouble that really kept them from getting the win. And, you know, as you said, Greg, when you are in foul trouble, it makes you less aggressive defensively. And when that's the case, it's hard to offer the kind of resistance that you need to. That was in the back of the mind, the foul trouble they were in. Now here's Love. After the miss from Damian Lillard. In the corner, it's James. Here's Vasquez. Off target from three-point range. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, as a coach, you can really ill afford to have those types of opportunities presented against your defense. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. LeBron with the bucket. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Here's Lillard following the basket by LeBron James. Lillard, the pass to Aminu. Portland moving the ball around. Five on the clock. There's three-pointers off the mark. The Cavaliers leading by 13. Evans kicks to Vasquez. Vasquez gets a screen from Evans. 
No one near him. That falls. Great assist by Vasquez. Eight points for Freak. Boy, Vasquez, man, what an example of tremendous passing skill. And Lillard kicks to Joseph, and he dunks it down. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And, Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it won't be a lead for long. So it's the Cavaliers now. Portland making their last shot. Boy, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Four straight passes leading to scores. Great team play. Now, here's Aminu. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. There's the triple. And he gets the bucket. Aminu's got five now. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And, Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. The dish to Delavidova. It's a pick by Love. Delavidova kicks to Evans. To the paint. And Kevin Love, the bucket with the assist by Evans. Evans has got assist number seven for him tonight. Lillard. No good. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Cavaliers on top. They lead by 14. From Portland, we're back in a moment. And now a chance to hear from point guard Damian Lillard as he explains his stoic demeanor on the floor. say Clark we probably shouldn't expect to see Lillard starring in any reality shows about his about his personal life I think that would be accurate I mean Lillard is a young man who is all about taking care of his business and doing what he needs to be doing I mean his reality is trying to live up to the expectations for him in Portland welcome back folks we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second and let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far. Those big Cavaliers. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. On the floor for Cleveland, getting going here in the second. Thompson down low with Mozgov. Vasquez out there with Irving. And it's Smith in at the small forward. One shot. One shot, gentlemen. On the free throw, no good. The Cavaliers leading by 12. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Kev, Freak, in the last matchup against the Jazz, did some really solid work on the floor. He finished with 36 points, and as he had the typical big game assist-wise, finding open men to come away with a healthy assist total, too. What a show it was as he put up some really amazing numbers when it was all said and done. Even we marveled at his performance, Kevin. All right, Doris, thanks so much for the report. You had to just marvel, guys, at what he was able to do that night, didn't you? You know what? It was the game of basketball being played at its highest level. No, no question who their MVP was in that win. No question whatsoever, Greg. I mean, that's a performance he and his fans will remember for a long, long time. Kamen shot is good. Just such a good shooter from that range. And you factor in his height advantage, uh, it's almost unfair. Thompson, a screen on Henderson. Move the ball. Vasquez kicks Kick to Thompson, one. and he slams it one-handed. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Yeah, and, and when he's got a lead like that, why not? take a few chances. A lot more engaging and entertaining than just doing the old ho-hum one-handed. Here's Turner following the score by Cleveland. Takes the three. Mozgov grabs the board. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the boards. You know what? No rebounds, no rings, and they've controlled the boards, and that's what's given them control of this game. Clearly, they've been the hotter team here in the first half. Well, they've been grit and grind, working for those high percentage shots, and 
quite honestly, it's paid off for him. Now here's Turner. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Kings in Sacramento. They push it up for on three. Here's Vasquez. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. For Cleveland, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And when you look at that free throw percentage on the season, they're, they're right around 73%. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating season for right, them now, in that regard, take guys. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Vasquez. And so he hits both. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. They, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. And Turner kicks to Aminu. He dishes it to Vonley. And it's Turner off the drive. Softly drops in the floor. Turner's got his second bucket of the game to go. I like it. I like it. He broke out the fancy finish there. Irving dishes to Thompson. Good. Great assist that time by Shot's Kyrie good. Irving. That's his first shot. Shot's good. Foul. Hit. Shooting one. The Cavaliers shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. One shot. One shot, gentlemen. That free throw good from Thompson. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Now here's Turner. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now he averages nearly 12 points a game. Three on three. Smith with it. Al Farouk Amino covering. Irving drives in. Smith up top. Puts it up. Portland grabs the miss. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. He yeah, has struggled to shoot the basketball in that game, but still found a way, if you will. I mean, they had to pick up the slack in a lot of other areas, and they did. And, Greg, you know, not too many teams are going to win shooting that poorly from the floor. But, you know, I'd have to say it says a lot about them as a ball club to win with that poor shooting performance. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime-dropping delights is what I call it. I, yeah, it's nice nice pass. Pass. I won't give you that one. Stay yeah, down. he was on the money, that's no doubt. That's his first personal foul. Portland shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And as a team, they're down around 72% for the season. And, and, guys, you know what? That's made things hard for them in a lot of their games. I mean, that inability to convert their chances right, at the now, free throw gentlemen. line. Two shots. Two shots. Free throw good, Evan Turner. And both free throws, good for Evan Turner. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Thompson sets the pick for Smith, but he recovers it. Pass to Vasquez. The screen from Thompson. Thompson sets the pick for Smith. Shot clock at six. Here's Mozgov. No good. Came in with the defensive effort. Turner with it. He's picked up by Irving. Right wing. 
Irving against Turner. And it's good. Turner's got eight points. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Turner against Irving. The screen from Thompson. The ball and stick it to luck. And it's sent back by Kamen. And here's Aminu. Five points in the game. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Pass to Aminu. Offensive rebound. Kamen. Marzgov with the block. 